Hiya folks, here we are again now with another air fryer recipe. We have done this before, but we're gonna do it in the air fryer now. So what are we doing, baby? Fry up. A what? Fry up. Or called uh, a full English, or Fry the, up. the full Monty. Right, now again, depending on what you want in your fry up, as Sharon says, we've got, well, we think we've got everything in this one, don't we? Actually, it's an air fry up. It's an air fry up, yeah. But it's not being fried though, is it? It's being air fried, which really isn't frying. It's basically cooking it in a mini turbo oven, Sharon. Yeah. So we're gonna try and do all these components in the turbo oven, and we may have to turn our big oven on, which we're only gonna use as a warming oven, folks, because there's quite a few components here. They're all gonna be cooked at different times, but we're gonna do them in the air fryer and just show you what an air fried fry up looks like. Or and microwave, actually. What's the microwave? Oh yeah, we've learned that lesson. We're not gonna cook the soft ingredients like the beans and the, uh, the liquid and the eggs. Stove on the frying pan. Yeah, so although the main body it, of the ingredients- All that line there. It's gonna be done in the air fryer. And as Sharon says, the eggs are gonna be done in a little frying pan. But we could scramble them and put them in the microwave, couldn't we? Yeah, but I'd like a fried egg tonight. Of course you wouldn't, so would I. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Here's today's ingredients for our English breakfast. Eggs of your choice, bacon, sausages. We're using pork and Cumberland sausages black pudding, tin tomatoes, baked beans, mushrooms, hash browns, and some bread to make fried bread. Right, so you can have your sausages of choice. We like two top, well, I like these ones, the Cumberland ones, which we get from uh, Little Sharon. Yeah. And we're just gonna cut them open. We're gonna put them, are we gonna put them all in? Yeah, I know the difference. Yeah, because we have them cold, don't we? Of course we do. So even if we don't eat all these folks, we, we'll cut them up and put them in because we, uh, We'll eat them cold anyway. So we just chop them up. No need to prick them. Apparently, um, with cheap sausages, back in the old days, you used to prick them and they didn't used to split when you used to put them in a frying pan, but uh, you don't need to do that at all in the air fryer, do you? I've not pricked a sausage for ages, actually. Of course you haven't. We're gonna put them all in the same tray, folks, so don't worry about that. Now we're gonna put these on initially for probably about 12 minutes. Uh, just to see how they go, and we'll probably keep turning them as well. I think they'll take more than 12 minutes because there's Because there's a load in there, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. Normally, we, we do one packet, and 12 minutes is normally long enough by just turning them two or three times in that as well, folks. So. Right, you stick that on and I'll go and wash my hands. Right, yeah, because one thing people don't probably realise, Shao, is that when we, are, when we are cooking, we do wash our hands. Someone says, oh, you wipe it on your pinny or your no, clothes or whatever. Wipe it, stick it, yeah. But that's what the pin is for, Shao, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but then I do wash my hands. Of course you do, baby. But I don't need camera following me to wash me in. Well, we don't need to see it, baby. No. Right, so we're just gonna put that in there, folks. And we're gonna switch it on, and we're gonna go to the air fry settings. And we're gonna drop the time just down to 12 minutes and then press go. So we've got them going already in the background. We just started them off. So with regards to bacon, folks, we was walking around our supermarket today, and we, we was gonna buy our normal bacon, but then we saw this, which is called cooking bacon, which is basically, it's not refined pieces. And that was half the price. That was about one pound forty something, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. And you get a kilogram in there, so we thought oh we'd give God. this a go. What? That looks like a big piece of gammon. Well, we'll see. I don't think it might be. I'm not sure. If it is, we've got to do something different. So as I say, this was only one pound forty nine, which is literally half the price of the bacon we was going to buy. But I was under the impression it was all little bits, like sort of a small chunk sort of thing. And we we we'll, we'll just have a look. Is, is it? What is it? Oh, it's a big gammon, Sharon. You know what we need to do then? Get that sharp knife of ours out and cut it down. That you can cut down, can't you? Don't you? Yeah. You can do that. Right. I'm gonna go and wash my hands. Go and wash your hands, baby. <laughs> there you go, folks. As if by magic, it's all been cut up. So we did get we did get quite a lot of bacon out of that shower, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. So we're just gonna put that to the side for a minute, and because uh, we're gonna be putting that in the same drawer as the sausages, aren't we? Yeah. Right. And on our ninja, we got two drawers, as you well know. So we just get that out. And all we're gonna do is put our hash browns in here as well, folks. Keeping these separate from the meat because we're gonna wait for the meat of the sausages to cook and then we're gonna put the bacon straight in the same one there. So this is sort of just like the dry ingredients, shall it? Yeah. We will do the hash browns in here and we'll also do the, um, the bread as well for the fried bread we're gonna make, baby, aren't we? Yeah, black pudding's gotta go in that one as well. Right, so how long's these going on for, Sharon? Uh, do 200, do 10 minutes. So number two, air fry for 10 minutes. We'll be turning them at about five. And as Sharon says, we'll be turning them halfway as well. There we go. 
And let's just have a little look at the sausages. As you can see, folks, they are cooking already. And as I say, we probably have to put them on for another 12 minutes because they, um, we've got we've really filled it up in there, which we don't normally do. Right, so we're just putting some of these sausages, folks, in the, uh, the, the, the tray which we're gonna put in the oven just to keep warm, because they are cooking at different rates in there. So Sharon's just turning them over now and pulling out the ones that are done, because we did actually overload it, Sharon, didn't we? Yeah. So that's just what we do, folks. Just get the ones that are cooked out and they'll go in the warming oven. And what we've done at the moment, we just put the beans into two little ramekins and right at the end, because these are gonna literally do probably a couple of minutes each in the microwave. So we've just left them like that and they'll be ready to go in the, uh, the microwave right at the very end. Right, there you go, folks. That's the hash browns. Uh, we're just gonna, again, transfer them over now and that frees up this other compartment for us to do the next phase and in this one we're going to put the black pudding in so again that look at that look they're all lovely aren't they look as i say the sausages are still cooking away we did put them on for another 15 minutes and as long as you're checking them shall that's all that matters isn't it yeah it don't mean it's going to be 15 minutes yeah i mean because there is no set time it depends on how much you put in what sausages you've got or whatever so again it's all trial and error folks so as you can see now what we're doing we're getting our black pudding out now you may or may not like this, we like it. I never used to like it, Sharon, do I? No. And we'll just literally plonk them four bits in there. And again, just whack it in, put it on air fry, and we'll whack that on for probably 12 minutes again. 200 degrees C for 12 minutes, and off she goes. And we'll look at them as well and check them halfway. Yeah, and as you can see, look, the sausages are, are all bubbling away there. We've got two types in there. We've got the Cumberland and we've also got the uh, pork sausages. All these will do is go in the, the, the our main oven, all on low, 80 degrees, so we'll be virtually using any electricity. Just use it as a warming oven. Right, and as our bacon, folks, as you can see, I think we've uh, cut everything up there, haven't we? It's not the best looking bacon, folks, so uh, don't worry about that. But we're gonna put it in the uh, air fry now. We're gonna do that in one batch or two batches? Or? Got to get it cooked so it'd be like a couple of batches. Yeah, we'll do that in a couple of batches, folks. So that goes in, and all she's done is literally just carried on cooking that what we had the sausages on. Right, so here's our big bowl of mushrooms, and we're just going to drizzle some oil over them. We just drop some drying out in Yeah, there. you don't want to dry them out. We have done them before without doing the oil, folks, and they do dry out a bit. So you just want to give them a coating, and we use always use olive oil, we don't use um, vegetable oil. Right folks, look at just a quick look in our oven. As you can see, she's taking the first lot of bacon out now and the black pudding's also just sitting in there and that's just sitting on low. So coming back up here now, we've now taken the crisper tray out there and we're gonna just tip our mushrooms in to the second tray. Give them a shake, whack them in. And again, put them on. So we're just gonna put the mushrooms on air fry for about eight minutes. Air fry is uh, 200 degrees centigrade. And again, we will be flicking and turning them over in the same time. What we got in there, baby? Bacon. That's the remainder of the bacon, folks. So that's the last bit coming up now. Everything else has been cleared now, apart from the fried bread, the beans and tomatoes, and the eggs, which we're gonna do at the last minute on our little camping stove. Right, well as I said folks, we're gonna be doing uh, one piece of uh, fried bread in the air fryer, but I just wanted to show you another little way you can do it and all, and that is in a frying pan, like that. You can get two slices in there, no problem whatsoever, if you've got a big frying pan. Is that why it's called fried bread? Of course it is, baby. But normally, when they do the fried Wait, bread in a, in a calf, they normally dip it into the deep fryer, and you can squeeze it, and it's full of oil, you know? So you could also pour some oil in a heat and then put drop the bread on it. You could do that as well, baby. But this way, to go into the air fry, all I'm going to do, folks, is get some olive oil and literally just brush the surface of the bread with a little silicone brush. And that will soak in, not too much, but it will just soak in nicely. And don't forget, olive oil is one of the better oils that you can be eating, folks. So just do both sides. Make sure you get the edges because the crust at the ends will burn if you don't do that. And literally, that's ready now to go into the air fryer. So I'm just gonna place that one on the plate. And the other one, as Sharon says, we've got some olive oil here. I'll just drop that last little bit of oil in there like that, which is our good oils, folks. I'll wait till that warms up a bit. 
And then all we'll do then, we'll lay our other two pieces of toast or bread straight in there and then literally monitor it and turn it over as and when we need it. So let's get going with that. There we go, folks. You just pulled the mushrooms out. Now the mushrooms are done to a turn. And again, they just go in with the bacon just as a warm, warming tray again. Yeah, we've done all this food, folks, just for three people, believe it or not. <laughs> right. Right. So now we're going to try that one in the air fryer just to give a time comparison, shall we? Yeah. So you're going to put it on what? Maximum crisp. Yep. I'm just going to. The just let it run and we're going to keep, keep an eye on it, yeah. Because it's going to have to be turned. On maximum crisp, it defaults to 10 minutes anyway, folks, yeah. but it's no way going to be in for 10 minutes, believe me. So while she's doing that, I'm just giving them a little pat down, look. Just flat them down a little bit, because I'm going to flip them over now, folks. Just see if they're working. Yep, just starting to get a bit of colour on them now, as you can see. I'll flip them over. Oh, that's a nice one, shall Good. Now they're a little bit firmer, shall I can press it down a little bit more, yeah? But I'm not going to go too mad because I want to keep the uh, fluffiness of the bread and just have a nice crusty surface shell. Yeah. Right, there you go folks. I think we're done in the uh, frying pan now. Sharon reckons that these are done. We're done. In there, that's a little bit gold bread. It could go a bit more, but we're happy with that. But it's going in the oven now. Because of course it is. The eggs, so. There we go. So that can all go in the oven. And that was... Just over five minutes, yeah. wasn't it? So that's just over five minutes, and it took a bit longer in the uh, frying pan as well, folks. But there you go, that's the fried bread done. So again, we'll just plonk that on top of the bacon. This again is all gonna go into the oven. We're nearly there now. I'm gonna cook the eggshell. While you're putting that in the oven, let's get a drop of olive oil. Cause the beans and, uh, be uh, beans and tomatoes are virtually done, folks. So yet again, drop of olive oil in there. And uh, let's get these eggs going. I've broke one, folks. That's yours. <laughs> so apparently Sharon says I've got the broken one. So but we're just going to cook these, folks, and then we'll plate up, and then we'll come back to you when it's all done. So I'll see you in a second. All right, folks, we've lost the third one. As you can see, Charlotte's already got hers, so Sharon's just getting it all prepared for a gob now. You salt and pepper, didn't you? Oh, yeah. It looks absolutely fantastic. So many elements on here, folks. We've gone, this is the full Monty, folks, believe me. I know it's a bit controversial, Shal. Some people what? say a hash brown doesn't belong on an English breakfast, but who cares? We like them, don't we? Hear that controversial word a lot. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Come on, baby, get it in. Tell me, baby, come on. Yeah? Mm. Very good as normal. This is good. We, we know what it's like, folks. We've had it. It's up to standard. I'm going to have a go now. Can I just say something? The fried bread, can we see if it crunches? Oh, wow. Really crunchy, folks. And it's not thick in oil. It has got oil on it, but not thick in oil. I like to put a bit of pepper on my shell. All over. Bit of salt, which is Himalayan pink sea salt. Someone's been pulling me up on that shell. Saying the Himalayans is in Pakistan and there's no sea there. I Googled it and I was right, so I've seen it on Google shell, Himalayan pink sea salt, yeah? Mm -hmm. And it comes from a sea that dried out many thousands of years ago. So it is sea salt. But anyway, there you go. Some people Googled it and they put me a whole paragraph down on Google where it was mined from and all that. Thank you very much for that, by the way. Bit of salt, bit of brown sauce on the old uh, dinner, folks. All the way around, spiral it on. That is a marvel, shall I'm going in. I just don't know what to have. I'm gonna have a bit of sausage. I always start with a bit of sausage, shall And I always go with a bit of egg and maybe some beans on it. Here we go, folks. I'm going in, Shell. Oh, oh, straight away. Oh, that's good, folks. Let's have a bit of that black pudding. Controversial. Yeah? And for some reason, I like the black pudding with tin tomato shell. I'm gonna put a bit out on it. It's not my fault. 
No words, folks. No words. And let's try this bacon. Now, this bacon isn't proper bacon. It's cooking bacon, which is a lot thicker. But let's have a mushroom with it, shall? And some beans. Oh, it's beautiful. Tell you what, folks. We can't stand here eating in front of you. We've got to get in the living room, put the telly on, put our feet up and enjoy this. Hey, look, we'll pop around. We've got some leftovers. I think we cook way too much, folks. There you go. Most of that work was done in the air fryer. A couple of little elements were, but the main body of that was done in the air fryer. And you can see the way that we bring a meal together when there's all these different elements. We keep the oven on as a warming oven, just keep it down to sort of 80 degrees C until you've cooked all the stuff, isn't that right, baby? Right. And it works well for us. There's no certain time for the black pudding, there's no certain time for the sausages. Just we, keep checking. You just know when you cook every day, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you just coating. keep opening the drawers and just having a look. Give it a turnover or whatever, stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, folks. Don't forget to check out our other videos. We've got loads of playlists on the air fryer recipes. We do three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. It'll come out at five o'clock UK time in the evening. And we also do our Sunday vlog, which is eight o'clock in the evening. That shows what we get up to during the week as well. Come so and join us and chat with us. And what do we what, the, what do we want to do, Shell? Chat with us. And subscribe. Subscribe. And like Don't and forget share. hit that subscribe button, folks. And every time, if you ring that little notification bell, every time we upload a video, you'll get notified. Thanks very much, folks. We better get in the other room, oh, Shell, before, before this turns to ice. Mm. See you later, folks. Bye for now. Bye.